God, Toad, why are you always stuck? All right. So we're going to explain this. All right. So again, here is a quick explanation of the map, which I'm calling Verse Mode, Alloy, or Betray. Um, the whole point of this is to take after, to the best that you can in Mario Maker, the whole concept of Prisoner's Dilemma. Basically, two people having to work together in order to either one win, both win, or both lose. So the map starts out relatively uh, like you would in a normal Verse Mode. Everybody chooses a lane. Right. Doesn't really matter which one you choose. I'm gonna go here. And again, everybody is for themselves right now. Again, pretty simple obstacle course. It's not meant to be too hard. It's meant to be for racing. You're making your way up. And you can see the person to your left who is going to, or to your right, who's gonna be your teammate actually. This is not meant to be too difficult. We want people to be able to finish this. And then at this point, you'll see that things are starting to be mirrored. And the reason for that is you're going to be going in the same pipe as one other person. You get to this spot. There is a boss battle. Now, a lot of people don't like boss battles in verse mode, but there's a reason for it. So right here, you'll notice there's a key door. Um, that takes you to a pipe, and you're thinking, oh no, this is bad. This is bad for verse mode. The whole process is you're battling another team that's right below you. So they're right below you, and if you stall out, let's say I get the key, right? And the person that I'm battling with is standing here and not letting me in. What it's doing is it's allowing the team below you to get ahead of you. And so you need to work together, otherwise you're going to lose. So if you stall it out, you're like, hey, haha, you can't get in, I'm blocking your path, you're just going to lose to the other team. And the other team, again, you'll know because you'll hear the clicking sound, and you'll notice that they're in the same area. So again, you got to work together. So that's phase one. So you come in here, if you're big, you're going to take damage, and you'll notice right here you're seeing this, this hinting with these poison mushrooms and the switches. And at this point, you'll see the dramatic music. You have two choices you can make with your teammate. You gotta make them quick because other people are gonna be coming. You can choose either ally or you can choose betray. So I'm gonna choose ally first to kind of give you an idea. If both players choose ally, then they can jump out and beat the level, right? But if I choose ally, and the other guy chooses Betray. The munchers drop, the door closes, and my buddy can't get in. And I can. Now obviously I'll be small Mario here, just ignore this that I'm I'm big. But this is a pretty easy jump. In fact, I'm just gonna make it small. Grab that. Now, if you both choose Betray, right? Let's say I come in here. I choose Betray and I get going in. My buddy comes out and sees me going for the flag. He can also hit another switch either on this spot or this spot. And six munchers will fall down and nobody wins. Thus finishing the ally betray prisoner's dilemma. Now, obviously in a normal prisoner's dilemma, you wouldn't be able to see the other choice that they're making. But again, I have very limited uh, things I can do here. Again, in verse mode, you would just hit the reset button and redo the map until somebody finally works together. In single player mode, this won't matter. You'll just finish it and be like, oh, I don't get it. But uh, yeah, 